Hi, I uh, hope you enjoy my virtual background here. I'm going to give you a uh, just a summary, a real quick tutorial on about the language one, the indirect commands. This is for stage 27. So let's take a look here. I'm going to pull me off screen and look at our textbook here. So, all right, so this is stage 27 again. This is about the language. Um, it's another subjunctive clause, and this time, so remember the 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 first subjunctive clause that we learned as a good basis for this is purpose clauses, right? So purpose clauses are, I did this so that that would happen, right? I went to the store to buy milk. I studied for my test to make an A, that kind of thing. Indirect commands also use oot, just like purpose clauses do. So there's the to part of it, to do something. Um, but basically they're they're indirectly reporting a command. So like if if the command is go back, then the indirect command would be something like the commander ordered his soldiers to go back. Literally that they should go back, but you would never translate it that way. So the direct command is go back. The indirect command would be the commander ordered the soldiers to go back. Uh, if the direct command is hand over the money, that's an imperative, a command, an indirect command would be the robbers ordered the merchant to hand over the money. The thing about the thing about these is they're easy to spot because even though they look like purpose clauses, you got oot and then the subjunctive verb. The thing you want to pay attention to here is the, the main verb of the sentence. And the main verb of the sentence is going to be ordered or commanded, or it could be also something like persuaded. So here the young man persuaded his friends to hurry. It could be begged. Uh, oro orare could mean to order as well, but uh, the prisoner begged the guard to give him the water. So the direct command would be, give me the water. The indirect command would be, the prisoner begged the guard to give him water. Uh, could also be warned, right? He warned me to run away. It could also be something like ask, like he asked me to do something. And I, I don't know that we have that here. So in, in letter B here, we got imperawit, ordered or commanded. Uh, D, we've got orabat, was asking or begging or, or ordering. Persuadera, so he wasn't able to persuade. Improbit, ordered again. Monebom, uh, I was warning. And then they warned. So any of these verbs can start out an, another, uh, another subjunctive clause called an indirect command. And just like purpose clauses, they, be, they are begun by oot.